Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to United States and he is currently in New York. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has reached New York after he participated in the Quad Leaders' Summit in Philadelphia. He also held a bilateral meeting with US President Joe Biden, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also interacted with Indian diaspora in the Hotel Lotte Palace where he is staying. Prime Minister is also set to address a large community event in Long Island and will speak at the UN's summit in New York on, of the future on before returning to India. We are being joined by my colleague uh, Arzu Seth is on the telecast. Arzu, uh, now Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in New York. What is the key agenda uh, uh, amid his visit uh, to New York? Well, if I tell you, you know, after the several programs in the Delaware, uh, in US, and now the Prime Minister has landed in New York, and he also, uh, you know, tweeted on the play, social media platform X, where he wrote that the eager to be among the diaspora, the community program in the city, and to take part in the other programs, uh, PM Modi wrote on X, and also the Indian diaspora welcomed PM Modi as he arrived in the New York, uh, uh, you know, uh, and also Prime Minister will attend. And, uh, the uh, summit of the future at the United Nations and uh, the Prime Minister will chair the, some key bilateral meeting in the New York uh, during the visit and uh, PM in New York will address a diaspora even today and he will engage with the CEOs uh, in a round table discussion. If I uh, talk about uh, earlier also we have seen there has been a lot of bilateral talks between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and also the PM uh, the PM of the uh, Australian PM and uh, the Japanese PM and now uh, on 22nd September, PM will address a significant community event on Long Island as he heads to the New York and also he is scheduled to speak at a diaspora gathering and participate in a roundtable discussion with the CEOs. And also on 23rd, he will deliver a speech at the summit of the uh, future during the United Nations General Assembly. Additionally, uh, PM will hold bilateral meetings with various world leaders on this island of the summit to discuss the issues of the mutual interest. Uh, the summit of the future, which uh, PM Modi will address on Sundays, uh, you know, uh, today is considered a pivotal event by the United uh, Secretary General Otonio. And as the UN nears its, uh, you know, 80th century anniversary, the summit is expected to tackle pressing global challenges and part, you know, and chart a course for the future. Uh, so all. My colleague Arzu Seth is facing some connection issues. Uh, so, uh, moving on, Prime Minister Narendra Modi held bilateral meetings with his US Japanese uh, counterpart and Australian counterpart on the sidelines of the Quad Summit in Wilmington and exchanged views to uh, deepen bilateral cooperation further for mutual benefits and the peace, stability, and prosperity of the Indo Pacific region. Prime Minister Narendra Modi met Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese in Wilmington on the first day of his three-day U.S. visit. The three leaders met at the sidelines of the Quad Leaders' Summit, which was hosted by the U.S. President Joe Biden. Prime Minister Modi and Anthony Albanese reaffirmed their commitment to further deepen bilateral ties and Prime Minister uh, of uh, Japan, Fumio Kishido, also uh, uh, reiterated the fact that uh, there were talks and discussion about uh, to deepen the connection and ties with India. And uh, this comes amid, the visit, amid uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to his counterpart, his US counterpart and his, uh, the Australian counterpart, Anthony Albanese. All right, my colleague is facing some connection issues. She'll be back on the telecast. Uh, now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in US. This is the top focus of the day. And his visit comes amid uh, rising tensions in uh, Israel, Hezbollah, and the ongoing war in Russia, and uh, um, uh, between Russia and Ukraine, and also uh, uh, between uh, Israel and Hamas. So viewers, uh, this visit, Prime Minister Modi uh, stressed on the fact of territorial integrity, which 
Also, uh, and uh, according to the U.S. Uh, White House U.S. spokesperson, uh, John Kirby, he talked about how the key focus in the agenda will be China. Now, my colleague Arzu Seth has joined us back on the telecast. Arzu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on a three-day visit and he has held uh, bilateral talks with uh, his US, uh, US, Australian and Japanese counterpart. Uh, what uh, what uh, exactly is the uh, key agenda of the Quad uh, summit that, uh, that they talked about? Uh, well, yes, and the Prime Minister is on a three-day visit to the USA and after holding several programs in Delaware, uh, Prime Minister landed in New York and he also uh, wrote to Twitter, uh, the earlier known, you know, earlier known as Twitter now, X, uh, eager to be among the diaspora at the community program in the city and to take part in the other programs. Also, we have seen, uh, you know, Indian diaspora welcome Prime Minister Narendra Modi as he arrived in the New York uh, and uh, a grand welcome was given to Prime Minister. Uh, Prime Minister will attend several events in the New York. Uh, if we talk about, there will be the Summit of the Future at the United Nations. Uh, the Prime Minister will share a key bilateral meeting in the New York during the uh, visit. Also, if we talk about, the uh, Prime Minister already held uh, several bilateral talks uh, with the counterparts of the Japanese and uh, also of the Australian counterpart. And uh, uh, today also, Prime Minister will address a significant uh, uh, community event uh, on, you know, on Long Island as he heads to New York. Also, uh, he is scheduled to speak at a diaspora gathering and participate in a counter uh, table discussion all right, with Arzu, the we are being All right, Arzu, we are being joined by Ambassador Suresh Goel. He's a former diplomat. So, Ambassador Suresh Goel, uh, the courts, the fourth court summit has taken place, and in the uh, in the statement, they have uh, talked about lasting peace and raised the issue of Ukraine and North Korea's missile testing. What do you think about uh, uh, this ongoing situation? That is, uh, that Quad is uh, is a secure uh, security alliance. So clearly, references to Ukraine war are an attempt, I think mainly by the USA to get on board its partners on the conflict, on the war that is going on in that area. And now, India has already taken certain steps. India has been in touch with Ukraine and both Putin and Zelensky. Uh, NSA Doval has been to USA. NSA Doval went to to, to Russia to bring President Putin on the, on the discussion. So I think uh, that issue is something which will go on, but I do not know how Quad is going to be able to play. Quad as, a, as an organization, as one uh, platform of the four countries, how they are going to be able to play a role in the conflict, except by way of uh, persuading uh, both uh, partners, uh, the 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 uh, uh, Russia and Ukraine, or the need to stop the war war as it's impacting on the global situation. Uh, as far as North Korea is concerned, North Korea missile attacks, from missile launches, is of direct concern to the security in the Indo Pacific. It's a direct uh, thing that the impact on Japan and South Korea, and therefore I. As far as that is concerned, what has a role to play in those kind of exercises and testing of missiles, and they should be able to issue uh, a statement or say, take some action uh, on those on that missile. Uh, so that's an important uh, uh, statement, an important conclusion in the joint statement. Yes, we are. All right, uh, Ambassador Suresh Goel, stay with us. Arzu, wo, uh, during this visit of Prime Minister Modi, uh, this is a key visit and the first uh, after uh, after Modi 3.0. What are the key deals that can be expected that here the US and India will sign? I think. I think we are facing uh, issues with the connection of Arzu. Ambassador Suresh Goel, for, uh, what do you think, what can be expected from the key deals that will be signed uh, with India and US? Uh, most of the deals will be in the areas of uh, transfer of technology, 
impact uh, on the cooperation in the areas of uh, hopefully energy. Uh, uh, most most critical issues in terms of these deals are not really the deals per se, where the government have been able to some common understanding, but actual execution of those dealings and agreements, where the fact, for example, in the GE, where despite all the different existing grounds, GE has not really taken even the first step to transfer the, uh, the technology on these engines for changes. And therefore, I think uh, these are both, but we will have to wait for the implementation. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.